What's up guys, everyone is here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and in today's video I'm going to be going over why I believe you should be not going as hard as possible when it comes to this new Drake skin, or it's still the Drake skin. So, just to take a look at the news, we've got the new Get to All New Sill Skins, and it says, want to get your hands on the Sill of the Drake's two amazing new skins, you're in luck, read, read on to find out. So. Her iconic skin, Azor skin, is available right now in the special offer shop, at the shop, but it'll only be there for the next seven days, so don't miss out. Okay, so you can buy the skin, and that's $30, and then we've got Sil's heroic Lava Born skin will be available as a reward, which honestly, in my opinion, I personally believe the Lava skin looks a lot better than the iconic Azor skin, which is literally just like an ice skin, so it's like light and dark or fire and ice you know what I mean honestly this skins much better however it does say uh, it's gonna be a reward in the upcoming champion chase tournament I don't believe that you should be going as hard as possible for this champion chase just to get this skin unless you're a spender that's that's kind of what I have to say about this skin and to be honest because the skins do nothing in this game except provide a nice aesthetic look to your champions. Now if skins did more for your champions and they upgraded your champions in any way, it would be a lot cooler. I know that there are a lot of games nowadays that make most of their money off of skin and there are very large games like for example PUBG uh, or PUBG, Player Unknown Battlegrounds as you guys may know or maybe maybe you don't know out there, but Player Unknown Battlegrounds makes all of their money off of selling skins. And, of course, a lot of these Gacha games like this, like Raid Shadow Legends, um, sell these skins. Now, I will say, Raid Shadow Legends is very steep priced for their skins, but Raid Shadow Legends also has the best looking create content in the entire Gacha space, in my opinion. And it will remain that way for a long time to come, because a lot of the other Gacha games are very anime-like, and unfortunately, yes, anime is taking waves, and anime has been around for a long time, but that sort of cartoony look, it's just not competing with the raid, kind of medieval, sort of dark-themed look. It just doesn't compete. And I don't think there are other games out there at this point that have the aesthetics, that have the look that Raid Shadow Legends has. And people that are going to get this skin, personally I don't recommend buying a skin that's $30, but if you have the money for it and you really want to just look cool, then go ahead pay for the skin that's totally fine or you could try your best to fight hard and take first place on the leaderboard in the tournament group to win that skin but it's more than likely gonna cost you a lot of money so you can pay thirty dollars for this blue skin and not look as cool or most likely you're gonna have to spend hundreds of dollars if you're trying to get first place in that champion chase tournament unless you're a very low spender and maybe you don't play the game very often and you happen to log in and you get really lucky and you get into one of those groups where nobody's even playing the game. In that case, maybe you'll end up getting your shot easily at being able to get this sort of magma looking armor set that Sil the Drakes is wearing here, which is the heroic lava born skin. So it does look very, very cool, I will say. And to just show it off, I think they have it in game already. But let's take a peek here. All right, so yes, they do have it in game already. Let me move myself out of the way so you can actually see the skin in action. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, very cool looking skin. I think this looks phenomenal. I love this skin. I think this skin is fantastic. You know, taking a, a closer look, she looks like she's wearing like some sort of demon slash like a demon spawn type helmet where she's taken and slain some demons and it and she has the demon wings which is really really cool so I do like the aesthetics of this and then of course you, you gotta love the spear the spear is phenomenal and then looking at the Azor skin yeah she looks cool I mean it, it's you got the sort of aesthetics of almost like a goddess you know and the the wings very similar to like a high elf faction type wings it, it's a cool look I will say it almost looks more like a Glacea soul guide kind of Glacea soul guide esque but 
I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this skin as compared to this skin. But let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this skin? Again, don't waste your resources unless you really want to go for this skin and that's kind of what you want to do and you're a collector of skins in this game and sure, go for it. But again, personally, if you're a free to play player, a low spender and you don't want to spend your money, you don't want to spend your resources like myself, then don't do it because like myself, I'm saving up my resources for the next best fusion. Saving my resources so that I could spend it on things that are going to help enhance my champions, enhance my roster, and make my account a lot stronger. Now, of, of course, I'm not saying you can't buy a skin. Go for it. If you love to do it, absolutely do it. But when it comes to a strategy game like this, having a really good aesthetic is not going to change your gameplay. That's all I've got to say. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.